Hey, First Baptist family, hope that you're doing well today. Thanks for joining me for today's devotional video. You know, uh, this last week, my family and I were able to get away for a few days on vacation. We're very thankful for that. And um, I'm sitting actually out here on the, the screen porch of the place where we're staying. Um, has a beautiful view overlooking uh, the lake. And I've just enjoyed sitting out here in, uh, in the mornings, uh, particularly early in the morning. The sun's coming up. I kind of get to look out over the lake here and um, just experience the beauty of God's creation. You know, as I think about that, um, I was reminded of a passage of scripture we're going to be reading this week as we finish up the book of Nehemiah and move into the book of Malachi. Listen to the word of the Lord here from Malachi chapter 4. As a matter of fact, this is the last chapter in the Old Testament that speaks of the day of the Lord that's coming. Malachi says, Behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all the evildoers will, stubble, will be stubble. The day that is coming shall set them ablaze, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But then in verse 2, But for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You know, the thing about sitting outside, particularly this time of the year, is as the sun rises, uh, it gets hot. And uh, particularly this last week, kind of a heat wave moving through part of our country. And, you know, if you're sitting outside in the sun or you're out here outside uh, in the middle of the day, it can get pretty warm. You know, I think about that. I think about the sunrises and their beauty. And then I think about the scorching heat of the midday sun. And it really is a, it's an interesting picture. From the same source comes something of beauty and peace and grace and something of, of really of, of terrible pain and, and even anguish. And, you know, as we read these two verses here in Malachi 4, 1 and 2, we see that same thing. The day of the Lord is going to bring both. The Son, Jesus, is going to come. And what's going to happen is there's going to be beauty and grace for those of us who know him. And there will be terrible punishment for those who don't. And so thinking about that this week as we read um, in our Bible reading plan, we're going to see some pictures of people who were faithful to the Lord and some pictures who were unfaithful. And my prayer for us as a church family is that we would be faithful to the Lord so that the day of his return, the day of the Lord, when he comes, we'll see the sun in glory and in righteousness. It'll be a, a picture of healing for us that know him, and we can look forward to that day with, with great hope. As opposed to those who don't know the Lord, um, the day of Christ's return will not be a day of, of hope and wonder. It'll be a day of, of great anguish because they will have missed the opportunity to walk with him in faith. You know, so as we read these verses this week and think about that, let's be encouraged about the gift of God's grace. And we can look forward to the day when he will rise as the son of righteousness and bring healing to us for all eternity. Would you pray with me? Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for the hope that it brings us. And help us, God, to walk in righteousness with you as we faithfully follow you and look forward to the day, Father, when you will return. We love you, Lord, and we thank you, and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.